Hello, my name's Merlin and welcome to Get Started. So over the course of this series, we've built and painted our first few models. Now it's time to take them to the field of battle as we learn the fundamentals of playing Warhammer 40,000. So you'll need a few things. Of course, you'll need your models. You'll also need your game board as depicted in the mission one briefing. You'll also need your dice and your wound counters, which you can find on the divider on the inside of the box. So once you've got all that, read through the mission briefing and then we'll go through our example turn and we'll kick things off by playing out the rest of the rounds. So get ready to roll those dice as we step into the 41st millennium. So here we have everything that we need for our game. We've got our Terminator Captain, our Psychophage, our 10 dice that come in the starter set, as well as some of the damage counters from the dividing sheet. I've got roughly half here as we shouldn't need more than that. You'll also need your data sheet cards for the Psychophage and the Terminator Captain, so keep those handy. And of course, we'll need our handbook. So we'll go through the example turn as well as the introduction. So let's dive into that. So turn to page 14 and 41 will give us our first training scenario. So we've got a reference here about data sheets covering all the different um, information on those data sheets. So read this up on your own time, but for the gist of it, you've got your characteristics here, you've got your weapons and abilities, any bonus saves, and of course your keywords and your faction keywords. So scenario one, war rages across the galaxy. Inside an Imperial strike cruiser, a space marine captain and a Tyranid psychophage duels to the death. The outcome of this conflict may decide the fate of the entire ship and every space marine aboard. Mission briefing for flesh and steel. It is a time for war. In this battle, you'll try the basics of Warhammer 40,000 in a thrilling duel between two champions, the space marine captain in Terminator armor and the terrifying psychophage. Starting with a Space Marine player, take turns fighting in close combat with your models. Follow the instructions to learn how to make attacks. You will make hit rolls, wound rolls, and saving throws before inflicting damage. So we'll lay out our battle board, which is the side here with the two walls half about halfway, and there's two smaller walls on either end. We want to place our models in the center, like so. So lay out your battle mat on a flat surface, such as a kitchen table or bedroom floor. Choose who will play the Space Marines and who will play the Tyranids. In this mission, the Space Marines use the Captain and Terminator armor, and the Tyranids use the Psychophage. Place the models on the battle mat as shown, so their bases are touching. How to win. When one, one model remains on the battlefield, the player who controls the model wins the battle, and the battle ends. If a model suffers wounds equal to or greater than its wounds characteristic, it is destroyed and removed from the battlefield. So here we have our example turn. So we start with the Space Marine Captain. So here we see the, num the dice that um, score hits. So in this case, anything over a two and ones will be misses. So he has five attacks to roll. So he rolls his five dice and compare his weapon skill to the results. So pick up any two, three, four, fives or sixes, move on to wounding. So for each successful hit, you need to match your strength to toughness. In this case, our strength is five and the toughness of the psychophage is eight, meaning a five or better will wound the psychophage. So in this case, five or sixes, anything else is a fail. The Tyranid saving throws. So the psychophage has a save of three, usually meaning rolls of three, four, five or six would save. But with the relic weapon having an AP characteristic of minus two, this means any saving throw is reduced by two. So in this case, the Tyranid Psychophage will only save a 5 or a 6. And after that, we assign damage. So the damage of each of the, the attacks of the Captain is 2, and the Psychophage has 10 wounds. And then we have a turn for the Psychophage. So he only hits on 3s. He'll wound on 3s because his strength's better. 
The Space Marine has a better saving throw though, so he'll save on anything. Usually it's a 2+, plus, but because I have a minus 1, he'll save on anything for a 3+. Plus. And then of course we have 2 damage on the Psychophage, but the Captain only has 6 wounds. So, right, let's take a look and play through our battle. So here we are set up ready for our battle. We got our Space Green Captain here on the left and the Psychophage here on the right. So we start with the Space Green Captain and he has five attacks. So we'll roll these dice. Oh dear, not very good. He's scored three misses and two successes. Now in order to wound, we'll need of course that five plus. So let's see what we get. We score a single five plus. So the Psychophage now tries to save on a five as well. And he does. So no damage there. So looking at the Psychophage, he gets D6 plus three attacks with his Talons. So we roll to find out how many attacks. It's a two but we get the plus three. So giving him five attacks. So he hits, these hit on a three plus, scoring four hits. And we know that he wounds on a three plus because he's higher strength than the captain, scoring three. So the captain now needs to roll, he saves. Due to the minus one, he only saves on a three plus. Oh no, he's failed twice, scoring only one success. So the damage of the weapon is two, meaning the captain will take four wounds. He's already critically injured. Moving back to the space ring captain. So five attacks, let's hope he hits a bit better this time. A little bit better, two misses this time round. And hopefully he can wound quite a considerable amount. Yeah, two wounds. Now the Psychophage gets a save. No, he doesn't. So that is four damage in return. So the Terminator Captain is considerably injured, but the Psychophage has barely took anything at the moment. Moving to the Psychophage, let's do his D6. So he gets, again, five attacks. So two plus three. Hitting on threes. Scoring four hits. Wounding on threes. Scoring three wounds. Our Terminator Captain needs to make these or else he's toast. Oh dear, the dice are not with us. Those are two fails. That means it's four damage to the captain and he is down for the count. Ooh. So there you go. That is our first game of Warhammer 40,000 complete. Pretty quick, I know, but still, it's a beginner game. We've got a lot more to cover in future missions. Congratulations, you fed the High Fleet and completed your first game of Warhammer 40,000. Each game is different as both dice, units and tactics can swing the outcome of the game in your favour. We'll learn more on this in future videos as we expand into different phases of the game and adding more units to our collection. Speaking of adding units, up next we add two new units to the game. For the Tyranids, we add two Termagant Broods along with a Ripper Swarm. So we'll be building these. And for the Space Marines, we add four Terminators to back up our Captain, who, as we know, has been injured. So join me for episode five, where I'll teach you the importance of how to batch build, which is building models in bundles pretty quickly. So grab your Tyranny Termigants for that. We'll also be building a Space Marine Terminator, just so we cover each of our factions. Then, in the next episode after that, I'll be teaching you all about batch painting as well as painting details on a Blood Angel. That's it for this episode of Get Started. So, until next time, thank you all very much for watching. Stay safe and happy hobbying.
Goodbye.